What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily export the contacts located in your phone as a CSV file so that you can upload it into your CRM of choice and be more effective at growing that sphere of influence. If you get value out of this video, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Here's what I got for you. Or here's the news I have for you. Your phone is not your database. I'm gonna share two apps with you for easily downloading your database from your phone, exporting it as a CSV file, then I'll show you how to format that data into a sample spreadsheet that's gonna have all of the appropriate columns so that you can start taking control of that database and working on ways to continue to nurture and grow that database. So if you're looking for an easy way to start to, let's say, generate new home value leads and inquiries from the people that are already on your phone, you're gonna like this. Let's go. There are two apps that make it really easy to export your database. The first one we're gonna look at is MC Backup. So if you look up MC Backup in the App Store, you should find this app here. Now it'll show all of the contacts that you have on your phone. It'll show how many duplicate contacts and whether you wanna merge those contacts. If you click on this button here, it should take you to the page that says your backups. Now what it's gonna show by default is this .vcf file. That's the first backup that's in there by default and that does me no good. You won't see the CSV versions. What you're gonna to have to do is click on that backup icon again till it shows this screen here. And when you click on this screen here, it'll say backup now. And then it'll give you the options to backup as a V card, which you do not want, or back contact up as a CSV. Go ahead and click on backup as a CSV. It'll take a moment to create that file. If you're on the free version, it's gonna show you this ad. Just go ahead and exit out. And then when you click on my backups, there it'll go ahead and note the CSV versions of those backups. You just click on the email icon uh, to send that as an email to yourself. And voila, um, there it is. Just go ahead and type your email to send it to yourself. And then there's your backup of um, all, there's the backup of all of your contacts in your phone. The second app is this export to CSV. So if you look that up in the app store, you should find it, but export to CSV. If we open that up here, it shows how many contacts I have. I'll go ahead and click on begin exporting. And then it'll ask me, do I want to export individual contacts? Well, no, that does me no good. Go ahead and click on export all contacts. And then it'll ask you which column data do you want to include? You're just mapping your data. So if you click here, I want to include first name. I want to include last name. If you have a email address, go ahead and select that and then phone number. So I'm going to say first phone number. I might have secondary numbers because one might be the office number, so on and so forth. So you'll select all of the appropriate fields. I want to include email address if I have it. Um, and then any additional information that you might have. Some of you do a very good job of updating some of this information. If you're like me, you don't. Uh, so just go ahead and select the data that you want to include. Go ahead and hit done and you can start to begin your export. Just click on uh, export. So where to export? Do you want to export it to Dropbox? Just uh, go ahead and export it to email. And then do you want to include contacts with missing information? You might go ahead and say no or you might go ahead and say yes and then just um, delete it from your file later. And then how do I want to format the phone number? In my case, you know, I might do that. And then go ahead and hit export. Once you hit export, it'll go ahead and render that file for you. And voila, you're good to go. So once you've exported your CSV file, what you're going to do next is you're just going to go through and delete any rows, basically any contacts that are other realtors or contacts that you don't want to include in any of your uh, broadcast or promotional emails. Right. So just go through that list, start to delete the, the rows that you don't want or the contacts that you don't want to market to and you have your data. Right. The next thing you're going to do is this lion desk sort of sample spreadsheet. Now, this spreadsheet should work irrespective of whatever CRM uh, system you're using. But in lion desk, for example, because it's member benefit here in CRMLS, 
these are all of the custom fields that they, or these are all of the contact fields that they have available. So first name, last name, email address, tag, mobile phone, home phone, you know, company uh, source. So where did that lead come from? Is it a Zillow lead? Is it a Facebook ad lead? Is it a, you know, open house lead? Um, so on and so forth. Now, go ahead and just start mapping all of your contacts to these fields here in this sort of line desk sample spreadsheet. Now, the most important column, in my opinion, is this tag column here. So it's okay to use multiple tags for a contact. So let's say I met somebody at an open house. They're looking in the city of Costa Mesa, and they're looking for a three-bedroom house in Costa Mesa. I might go ahead and say uh, tag Costa Mesa. The way you include multiple tags is just to separate them by a comma. So Costa Mesa, comma, uh, buyer lead comma, or, or I, I might say open house because I met them at an open house, right? Comma, and then two bed, because I know they're looking for a two bedroom house. So here I have, you know, my record, first name, last name, email address, phone number. And then these are all of the tags that I'm appending for this particular contact record in here. The reason you're doing this is later when you're trying to do filtered views, let's fast forward another six, nine months you have a new uh, listing that's coming on the market soon. It's, guess what? It's a uh, two bedroom house um, and it's in the city of Costa Mesa. Well, you don't wanna send a broadcast email to everyone in your database. You wanna segment your database. So now you'll be able to filter and do a filtered view search to see where are my buyer leads? How many are searching in Costa Mesa and how many are searching in Costa Mesa specifically for a two bedroom house? Now you're basically segmenting your database and you're sending a highly relevant broadcast email just to that segment of your database, right? So take a moment to organize your database into this LionDesk sample spreadsheet. Once you've done that, it's really easy to upload into LionDesk or whatever CRM system you're using. Now, you might be thinking, I don't have email addresses um, or property addresses, Ricardo, so what do I do? No problem. Go ahead and take that data, upload it into LionDesk, and then here's a broadcast message as a text message that we recommend sending to your database. Once you've uploaded that information to your database, here's what you're going to do. You're going to say, you can send this as a one-time broadcast text message, and you're just going to say, hey, first name. So, hey, Ricardo, the real estate market is super crazy right now, and I'm giving all of my clients their updated home value. Do you want me to send you a custom home value update too? You're going to get some no's, some take me off your list, but the ones that reply positively, sure, or sounds great. Just go ahead and reply. Great. What's a good email for you? And what's a current address or what's your updated address? You know, what have you done? Well, let's recap. You've downloaded all of the contacts or exported your contacts as a CSV file from your phone. You've organized them neatly into a spreadsheet that you can now keep regularly updated as your primary database, you've uploaded it to your CRM of choice, and you've sent them this targeted broadcast email to try to surface updated email addresses and try to get some home value update leads as well. Again, if you got value out of this video, hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys soon.